Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the sum function in Microsoft Excel. Let's open up this folder on my desktop. I've got this blank spreadsheet and we'll open up this blank spreadsheet. I'm just going to type in some random values in here and we could sit with a calculator and just add all of these numbers up, but we can use the sum function to do that. So we've got some random numbers. I'm going to type in equals and then I'm going to type in sum and I'm going to double click on this sum function. Just double left click. It's going to open up a bracket and I'm just going to hold down the left mouse button and select these values and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and close the bracket like this so you can see the sum function in here A1 to A8 add these together basically and hit the enter key and you'll get the total value here All right you'll get that value here so that's how we go about using the sum function there is another way to use it there's a quite there's an, like an auto sum function so we could select all of these values again and paste them into here and we could click on this cell down here and we can use this tool called the auto sum and when we click on that it's automatically going to look up the spreadsheet and highlight all of those values for us and all we've got to do is hit the enter key once just hit it once and you'll get that same value right so if we took two simple numbers like let's say 100 and 200 we know the sum of this should be 300 so we can just click here highlight them like this so click in the blank cell below highlight the two above and then click auto sum and then we can target those just two above because we've highlighted them with our mouse and then we get the value 300 you can also calculate that value just there's another way to do this is just to, let's say if we click here we can type in equals this value 100 and then we can put a plus sign and we can say this value and then hit enter and that will also give us 300 but that's our own custom written formula there right we can use addition to uh, to, to work out the the total value this way as well we can also um, use a function like this so we can do equals and then we can type in sum and then double click this value here and it's going to ask us for numbers so we can say 100 comma 200 and then we could do comma so that makes 300 and let's add another uh, 700 and then put a close bracket and then hit enter and it should equal a thousand if it says correction here just go ahead and click yes and it will correct the formula to make sure that it's entered in correctly right so here you can see a thousand and we can see a hundred plus two hundred plus seven hundred equals one thousand yeah so that's how we can use the sum function it's quite interesting uh, function to use especially when you do just addition of numbers uh, rather than manually creating your formulas you can just use the sum function directly in Microsoft Excel so if you ever see an error message pop up all you need to do is just accept it and Excel will correct that particular um, error it was I just didn't put the second closing bracket that's why we got uh, an error in that that particular function okay so that's how I use the sum function in Microsoft Excel you can apply that to any type of number it doesn't have to be numeric it could be uh, currency values for example so you can just type in random numbers here um, and this could be I don't know your cost for your business for example for for a day or a week right all different values for different things that you're buying you can just click here and in fact what we could do is highlight all of these cells go to general and set it to currency mine happens to be UK pounds and we could click here and just use the auto sum click here hit the enter key and there's your total value so now you know how much you spent on a week or a given day um, based on the values set above okay so that's how I use the sum function in Microsoft Excel let's close this down let's close this that's the end of this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where you can access over 600 video tutorials i hope you find this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial